newer cooling equipment doesn't remove as much moisture as the older equipment did. You know, a lot of times you may say, you know, my my older equipment, this new stuff is is not the same, and it's not. The older equipment was a lot more tolerant of poor installation practices. The newer equipment is, you have to be much more precise. It's more precision based. So you have to really be careful with what you do and the setup and the installation and how you start it up and commission it. All these are very important. You can't just put it in and turn it on. We used to be able to get away with that and we can't now. And with duct leakage on the return side in the crawl space, if it overwhelms the moisture removal side of the air conditioner, then you know, there's no room left to dehumidify the home. Well, I mean, most people are, have no clue about that thing right there that you just said. They're expecting they get a new air conditioner that it's going to work better than their old air conditioner that was there for 10 or 20 years. And what you're saying is that it has less capacity to remove the moisture from the air than the older air conditioner did. So why is that? Uh, a lot of it has to do with efficiency ratings. In order to get higher efficiency air conditioners, they put larger indoor coils in them. And a lot of times those indoor coils are run a little bit warmer than the older ones did. So they don't quite remove as much moisture. So what happens is less the installing contractor is setting up the fans correctly. And a lot of times what they'll do is they'll set the fan at a lower speed so that there's more contact time for the air that's passing across that coil, lets the temperature get cooler so it'll remove more moisture. But okay. unfortunately, a lot of times when the equipment's installed, it's just assumed that the fan is set correctly. Right. And unfortunately, it may be moving away too much air. Yeah. And then you get into the equipment side where there's two different sides of an air conditioner. If you look at it, there's one side of it that actually drops the air temperature. And then there's the second side, which is the moisture removal side. And sometimes there's a different split. The more of your air conditioner's capacity that goes to lowering the air temperature, the less of it that goes to moisture removal. So right. there's a fine balance there that only contractors who are using the right design software will know. So they, there's a happy medium there that has to be met. So, so just slapping it in and turning it on, oftentimes is going to end up in these humidity problems that we've found in our area. I know a right. lot recently.